hi guys welcome back to my channel um i have my little ones here isabella hi isabella so my brother my uh the rest of my kids and the rest of the kids are not here including sean they are at the beach so i'm just just me and isabella here at the boat so anyway guys it's been it's been a long time that I wanted to share this um, which especially in Philippines because this channel I mean this uh, video I'm I would like to share with you guys um, about your the experience of my brother uh, who is a first timer traveling abroad international flights so I know that in Philippines the uh, immigration is very very nuts and very strict so anyway uh, so my brothers they are also including my brothers and my sister which is two of them are first timer um, traveling abroad so I would like to share with you guys their experience um, so we gonna start with my little brother so my brother Jamar, so last last year, I think it's in May, yeah May. So he he come here in Thailand in May, and he's a first timer, so he doesn't have he doesn't have any uh, he doesn't have his unemployed, um, including my sister also she's unemployed so it's a bit hard when you are unemployed and first time we're traveling outside the Philippines but actually um, I don't understand why it's only in Philippines are doing this type of strict immigration process when we get from here to Phuket we travel to Malaysia travel to Indonesia we travel to Singapore didn't you know the immigration is very easy very very easy just have to show your passport your ticket that's it they didn't even ask about the hotel so they just stamped your passport and that's it so in Philippines is a very very strict so anyway so we start with my brother so my brother Jamar so first time he traveled here in philippines i was so scared guys because the plane ticket is not cheap and is a bit expensive even if it's cheap if you're offload or you can't able to travel it's really frustrating and also sad right so anyway i was praying the whole time when he's i told him to go to the airport in manila early like five hours before before the chicken so that he can check in early and go to the air migration way to the immigration the reason why because um, I want him to have more time if in case the immigration asks more documents or asks more process it's a long process in immigration in Philippines so I told him to um, go there early so to make it short so he went so when he's already he has he, of course he have to pay for travel tax and so forth so he's already at uh, at uh, immigration um, so first document that they asked is his passport so they show him his passport and he has a round trip ticket of course because I am the one who invite him here in Thailand so I have the letter uh, I just wrote a letter and signed it telling the immigration just a poor mile poor mile later nothing fancy or going to the uh, in, from the embassy just a formal later that I invite him to come here in Thailand so that I am the one responsible for him if he arrives here in Thailand so anyway um so he went to immigration so he so i was really really scared he, he called me oh i'm already here in immigration so okay, and i said okay 
let me know if you have anything or the immigration wants to talk to me just let me know so I provide my work permit I provide my stamp visa here in Thailand so they asked for my work permit asked for my visa and they asked for his round trip ticket so thank thankfully yeah that's it and then they let him pass but he told me about a story that the there is two couple i think more than two that they are offloaded so they also went to singapore and just also their first time and the immigration did not accept and they denied them it is really awful so yeah um with my sister also guys um same thing what happened she's unemployed with my brother it's a bit easy than my sister so with my brother with my sister it's a bit hard for her it's complex so anyway when my sister come come here so she have also go through all the process in the immigration so with my brother she only there's only one who interview him and that's it with my sister like they bring her to the like a second process so it means if you can't pass that you will be offloaded so anyway um they asked for i already provided them my work permit my visa and everything and my the later and all the pictures that they are my siblings um it's still not enough so they asked for my they asked for um my married certificate and they also asked for which is i don't have so i i told them that i have they asked for i told them i don't have and i told them that um so they asked for the birth certificate of my three two son which is they're both american citizens because the one who um like sponsor them is sean but i'm they're not really using sean's work permit they're using my work permit so i'm just i don't understand i don't understand the logic why they're asking sean's and my two other son birth certificate if joylene my sister is related to them when there's nothing to do with them right because i i provide my work permit i provide my my visa not sean's visa and sean's work permit so anyway it's kind of silly so anyway guys and it's a bit hard for my sister it takes two hours to interrogate here before she's able to pass so fine thankfully she passed and now my brother already also here in thailand so this is her his second time coming here in thailand so his second time coming here in thailand guys is a bit easy it's not hard so because he has already stamped here before so easy just ask his passport that's it they didn't even ask the birth certificate or anything related to me any document just passport he didn't even ask his round trip ticket so it's kind of very very easy it's not it's like it's supposed to be like that right you don't have to interrogate a lot of people a lot of travelers you, you shouldn't you should let the filipino people travel around the world not because they're you know they're paying for their ticket they're paying for the hotel and then you offer them you reject them so the, most of the ticket that these people purchase are like promo which is um if you buy this ticket it's not refundable and it's very very nice so yeah guys um uh if you are traveling outside the country at least in my experience the only thing i provide for my brothers and my sisters in order for them to accept is i have to provide my a letter which is a formal letter now up with no but emb no embassy later it's just a formal letter and then second one is 
a uh, my visa and my work permit and then my birth certificate that's it just three things so yeah guys thanks for watching my uh, video I hope that this video is helpful for those who wanted to travel outside the Philippines not just here in Thailand any outside the Philippines hope that this is helpful um, if you have any question guys just comment below and I will answer as much as I can when I can any questions and thank you for watching my video and have a good day